Method 1 is meant for exporting videos with different clip speeds. I have already split my video into clips for editing. If you have not split up your video yet, then just take your playhead and drag to the spots that you want to clip. When you find those spots, hit S on the keyboard to split the video into pieces. The purpose of splitting your video up into clips is because we will apply the clip speed effect to an entire clip. To add the effect, you want to go to your vertical menu and look for visual effects. From visual effects, you should be able to find clip speed and you want to click and drag that onto your clip. Let go. Now the effect has been added and you can see it in your properties on the right. If you can't see properties, you might have to click the properties button to allow that to show. Under clip speed, you will see the box for speed. This is adjustable. The default speed is 1x and if you lessen this number, anything below 1 will slow down your clip and anything above 1 will be a multiple or speed up your clip. So for this clip, I've decided that I'm going to reduce the speed in half so I can get slow motion. Okay, we got an error. There is not enough room in the timeline to complete that action. So just click OK. So the problem is that there is another clip right next to the clip we're trying to extend. So we need to move this clip out a little bit and then highlight our clip again to get the clip properties and adjust the speed to 0 0.5 and hit enter. All right, now it has enough room to extend the clip. So now you can drag the clip to the right back into its new location. And then you can just press play to view your playback and see if you added enough slow motion. If this was not what you were looking for, then let's take a look at method two. In method two, we are not trying to change the exported video speed. We are increasing the playback speed so that we can review and edit our videos faster. To get the video to playback faster, you will want to utilize the hotkeys J, K, and L. To do this, drag the playhead anywhere on the timeline as your starting point. Then press L one time to get normal play speed. Use K to stop. Likewise, to go backwards, you can press J. Press J once to get 1x speed backwards. Press it again to get 2x speed backwards. And if you press it two more times, you can get 4x and 8x speed. And again, use K to stop. Utilizing these new hotkeys that have just been added to Camtasia, you can scrub through your video in less time allowing you to boost your productivity so you can edit and release published videos faster. If you enjoyed this Camtasia Studio tutorial, please check out our full playlist.